Ask Reddit. What is the best case of you just messed with the wrong person? 10 year old me seeing my dad's face when I didn't want to do the dishes and told my mom that she should do them because she did nothing around the house. I don't know how I survived tbh. I didn't witness it, but I got first and accounts and saw the police report. Bob was a delivery driver at Domino's and was a little off his rocker. Kind of older, upper 60s, maybe all the way to 70, and the kind of guy who would cut out a 10 year old to make a point, but also gave away our cancelled orders at the end of the night to homeless people. Anyways, Bob's delivering a pizza and gets mugged. The robber walked up and hit Bob in the head with a brick, dropped the brick, took his cash, and took the pizza. Bob got up, took the brick, and proceeded to mug him back, and then called the police. The gangbanger in his 20s was too terrified of the pizza man in his 70s to run away and waited to be arrested. My boss invited a handful of us over to her house for some beers and burgers one Friday night. Her 5 year old, I think, daughter sat down next to some of us and wanted to play you know. A coworker of mine sitting next to her made some comments about how cute it was that she wanted to play games and was generally extra patronizing. The 5 year old dealt the cards and proceeded to destroy us. I assume she had some help stacking the deck, but her entire hand was full of the draw fours. By the time she said you know the girl who had said she was cute was ready to drop kick her, but couldn't because she was holding 20 plus cards. In middle school, during lunch period, a kid in my grade was getting picked on by this larger kid and his friends. He said, stop it, leave me alone, a few times. No one watching did anything, because we were just dumb kids who didn't want to get picked on either. Large kid was poking him and calling him names while his buddies laughed. Suddenly he slapped him in the head. The other kid went bananas. Face red, tears streaming down his face. He jumped on large kid and beat his ass, crying just leave me alone. Teachers broke it up and began scolding him, but everyone who had been watching vouched for him, said he was only defending himself. I think they both got suspended anyway. No one messed with that kid anymore though. I watched a redneck get his ass kicked by a gay man because he was taunting him and calling him names. Never witnessed a more well deserved and thorough ass whooping. Happened in front of the redneck's girlfriend which only added to my satisfaction. Two idiot teenage thugs trying to mug a man who was wearing an old field jacket. The guy was a instructor for the military police, in hand to hand combat, arresting techniques, and under the one size larger loose jacket, was a 200 pounds of solid muscle brick while. It was awful, like seeing a train wreck, you want to turn your head, but you just can't and keep watching. After all ended, I don't think you can found 4 teeth between the two of them. I thought that only happened on the movies. My mom's ex figured he could abuse her, and she'd take it. It worked for a bit. A big thing he did was get her name off the title for their home, but kept her on the mortgage, cause of some weird logic related to making her pay for no longer putting up with his shit. Another thing was him showing up at her new place and beating her up. Well my mom might miss signs for a while, but she doesn't lay over. She reported the assault, landing him in jail under a restraining order. Then she got a judge to put her back on the title. And now, since the idiot thought he could default on payments and she'd have to pay, a judge has also approved a forced sale of the home. Mom gets half of what's left after loans and fees. Was at the bar on the back patio part with my girlfriends. There was this deaf woman sitting with her other deaf friend. They look mid-twenties about, and they were just sitting there quietly signing to each other. This drunk Kevin Federline type dude comes up and kept hitting on the woman. She clearly indicated non-verbally that she wasn't interested, but he still just hung around hovering over her. And by hover, he was literally hovering pressed up against her chair touching her arms and back, while she did her best to ignore him and talk with her friend, while occasionally indicating to him to leave her alone. Then, all of a sudden she laid him out so fast. All I saw was him laying on his back looking dazed, while she stood over him and Helen Kelly yelling at him had that kind of kid that likes to make passive aggressive comments about other kids, in particular mentally challenged ones. I myself am Asperger slash autistic, and I made myself a place in the back corner of the room, to stay as far away from this kid as possible. 
teacher didn't have much else to do against this kid, the school did jack squat about it. For some background, the teacher was a 60 odd year old man, that was helpful as could be, and generally very sweet and easy to get along with. Geometry doesn't click, but he helped me pass the class. Well, the kid was getting on his triad again after the teacher let us get busy with homework for the last 10 minutes or so. I didn't get to hear what the kid said, but my math teacher had enough. He got up and yelled at this boy, got him back into his seat while the whole class was silent and kid didn't say anything and got several detentions afterward because my teacher went to the school board. You know the phrase about devils being scared when a good man goes to war, yep. To at my high school as a kid, one doucher bag guy named Rich was picking on a kid all day. He followed the kid out to the buses joying at him, he whole time, while the kid just walked with his head down and his hands in his pockets. Rich said something that stopped the kid in his tracks and he pulled his hand out of his pocket with a pencil, gripped like a knife, and whirled around to plunge the pencil into the side of Rich's jaw. It went through his cheek and knocked a tooth out. Same situation but two kids went to the technical school in the morning. The quiet nerdy kid had been picked on for weeks, and on the way back from tech school he told his bully, when we get back to school I'm going to kill you. The bully laughed. When they got off the bus the bully got in the kid's face and the kid whipped out a carpet knife he had stolen from tech school and just started stabbing and slashing the bully all across the chest and stomach. I was told that I could not attend a 6 to 8 grade school that had a special art program because of my skin color. I'm white and my home school would not release me to attend the other school that I had to apply for because they needed more white students. My mother took on the school district and got the policy changed. You are now allowed to attend any school in the district as long as you don't bump a home student. This was in the early 90s in Southern California. I didn't witness this, but my driver's ed teacher was a retired bus operator. He told us that once, a guy legally passed his bus at a stop, cut him off, turned in his seat to flip him off, and promptly rear-ended a cop car. I got back from a trip, I was going to my mom's house that my brother was living in since she died when I was at New York. I forgot to tell my brother that I was there. I opened the door then I began to look at some old photos of my mom when I hear wrong house full. I'm not sure if it's the best, but it's certainly the most violent. Some prick in his 20s was drunk, telling everyone in the pub how he could kick everyone's ass and generally mouthing off about what a hard man he was. He started hassling this workman in his 50s, who was clearly trying to have a quiet drink by himself, who did not react at all, just continued drinking and ignoring the moron. Moron didn't take this well, and poured his drink over the workman's head, who proceeded to take his painter's trowel out of his work bag, gash the hard man right across his face, finish his drink and calmly walk out, while the other guy sprayed blood everywhere and screamed. Sunderland in the 90s was an interesting city to drink in. A friend of mine's stepdad is not a good guy, he is full of rage and will lash out without a second thought. This made him the wrong target for two guys who tried to mug him near an ATM. They came up to him and demanded he withdraw money. He grabbed one of them and smashed the guy's head and face into a brick wall. The other guy ran away, but he chased him down and beat the shit out of him. Oh my lord I've waited for this question for a long time. There's a kid at my school, who's just a fucking bully. He thinks he's hard and all that shit, because he walks around school with knuckle dusters. Anyway he goes up to this autistic kid on the field at lunch, and he starts kicking his backpack, and taking his books out of his bag. Now this kid is literally about 160 pounds of fat and muscle and he just turned round, and fucking chased the kid to the trees at the far end of the field and I ran after them. And the autistic kid is making primal fucking growls, and beating the fuck out of this cunt. It took me, and three other people, to get him off of him. I was a senior in college down at the bar on the weekend. This bar was notorious for being rowdy with a lot of the freshmen and sophomores going there. I was on the football team, and noticed a freshman on my team come in angry. He told me that some other kid was instigating him, so he pointed him out to me, and I tried to ask this kid why he was causing problems. Before I know it, his friend sitting in the booth next to me starts shouting random insults at me, even though he wasn't even a part of the problem. I told the kid he should watch his mouth, 
but he kept going on screaming insults and telling me how I won't do shit. He tried to get up from the booth, but I put my hand on his shoulder and told him to not even try it. I then looked at him in the eye and pointed at him and said you know, you're in a very vulnerable position right now. He sort of swatted at my hand and was mid-sentence of saying you aren't going to do she. Slap. I did not even realize it at first, but I smacked the absolute piss out of this kid. I swear to this day it is the loudest slap I have ever heard. When I looked up the whole bar was looking at me, I did what I had to do and mixed back into the crowd. My hand was stinging for the next 15 minutes. There was a bully in my class that liked to pick on the quiet and nerdy kids and a kid who was a quiet and a nerdy kid who failed to times because of absence, who was twice as big as a bully. The bully got up and said I'm gonna kick your ass to the nerd. And the big kid just got up and said are you sure about that? The bully just got back to his group like a scared kitten. Later I met the big kid and he's a nice guy. We were gym buddies. And then a year later I was the big kid 